Hi everyone, welcome to No Ideas Media. I'm Mackenzie Skeels and I'm going to be doing occasional videos here. I'm just finishing up a Media Studies and Professional Communications program and I'm really excited to get started in science communication. I grew up on a farm in Alberta with my family. Not like crop farming or vegetable farming, cow farming. Our farm produces around 420 purebred Simital cattle per year. A Simital is a breed of cattle, and I have around 20 cows of my own. And I've been involved with farming and animals my entire life. I'm really passionate about agriculture. Fun fact about me is I was the 2017 Rimby Rodeo Queen. So being a rodeo queen actually gives me a really unique spot because it's something that I grew up around, and it allowed me to be passionate and share my experiences within the community. 4-H has been a big part of my life for over a decade also. 4-H is a youth club where kids learn relationships with farm animals. The 4-H motto, learn to do by doing, is something that I strongly agree with. I love the organization because of the broad skill sets and opportunities that I've got because of it. Through 4-H, I was involved in a beef club, which allowed me to grow my passion for the cattle industry. That has also brought me to be a part of the Young Canadian Simmental Association on a national and provincial level. A Simmental is a breed of cattle. I've been granted the opportunity to travel across Canada and through the states as a Canadian representative. Outside of agriculture, something else about me is that I have a learning disability, which is dyslexia. So reading off of a teleprompter or reading in general is not something that's really fun for me. And with all of this, I hope to be an advocate for unique learning by telling people my story and how I think a little bit outside of the box. I know that I'm not the only one that learns differently and I think that we should talk about it more. And speaking of talking, obviously I will have a certain perspective on the livestock industry and meat in general, which might be different from yours. And that's okay. We will totally have all of those ethical and moral conversations. And I'm really looking forward to that. And I hope you're looking forward to learning a little bit more about livestock farming from someone who's lived it through their entire lives. Thanks for watching. You're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Good stuff. That was great. <laughs>